This is footage of one of the deadliest incidents involving immigrants in Mexico's history. 40 men were killed and more than two dozen were injured inside this immigration detention center in Ciudad Juarez in March 2023. Stefan Arango was among the men who had been covered in mylar blankets and laid outside the detention center and thought to be dead. As he lay on the ground in one of the four rows besides the bodies of the other victims, Arango came too, gasping for air. Yo entré en un caos mental, pánico, ya sentí que ya era mi último punto de vida. Y yo, yo me entregué al Señor. Yo dije, bueno, Dios, si he hecho algo en mi vida, te pido perdón, me entrego a ti, Padre. Y me dejé, me, me, me dejé morir, me dejé caer ya. After the fire, Arango was in an induced coma for about three weeks and spent months recovering from his injuries. Six months later, the Biden administration allowed Arango and his wife, along with others who'd survived the fire, to enter the United States legally for humanitarian reasons. Investigators blamed the incident on the migrants who started the fire and the guards who failed to help them. The U.S. pointed to the incident as a reason why immigrants should enter the country legally, without acknowledging that some of the detainees were attempting to do just that. ProPublica and the Texas Tribune's examination underscores the fact that over the last decade, both the Trump and Biden administrations put much of the responsibility for detaining and deterring immigrants onto the Mexican government. U.S. Rep. Raúl Grijalva was among many legislators who'd warned Biden that such a tragedy was inevitable. The whole system in Mexico is partly a creation in response to initiatives that the United States began with Mexico, and that's why we should care, because we bear some responsibility. For more on how Trump and Biden's immigration records led to this heartbreaking story, including a documentary from our video team, check out the link in our bio.